Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, on behalf of and in partnership with the administration, um, I am proud to join uh, with the co-sponsors, Councilman Mark Squilla and Councilwoman Blondell Reynolds-Brown, in introducing this legislation because far too often the collective voice of Philadelphia residents does not seem to be heard at the state level. This legislation will put the following question on the May 21st ballot. Shall the Philadelphia Home Rule Charter be amended to call on the General Assembly to either increase the Pennsylvania minimum wage now so that it reaches $15 an hour in stages by 2025, or, Mr. President, allow the city of Philadelphia itself to provide for a decent, family-sustaining living wage for working Philadelphians. With such a ballot question, we shall allow the citizens of Philadelphia to formally weigh in on a state-level policy issue. For those who may not know, Pennsylvania's minimum wage of $7.25 an hour has been unchanged for the past 10 years, while the cost of living has risen more than 13 percent since 2009. Contrary to what many people believe, the average employee earning minimum wage is not a teenager working a part-time job. According to the Economic Policy Institute, the typical worker who would benefit from a $15 minimum wage is a 35-year-old woman with some college-level coursework who works full-time. And raising the minimum wage to $15 will be particularly significant for workers of color. Nearly two-fifths, that's 38 percent, of African Americans and one-third, that's 33 percent, of Latinos would get a raise if the federal minimum wage were increased to $15. Now, furthermore, Pennsylvanians as a whole would benefit if that action ever took place. If the minimum wage were incrementally increased to $15 per hour, by the time of full-time implementation, over a quarter of a million of Philadelphia residents, that's nearly half of our workforce, they would be affected by the wage increase. Now, my co-sponsors on this legislation have been avid supporters of raising the minimum wage in Philadelphia. We also know that Mayor Kenny signed into law legislation sponsored by our colleague, Councilman Mark Squilla, that will make sure that all employees of the city and city contractors earn what they deserve, which is a minimum wage of $15 per hour. And just two weeks ago, our colleague, Councilwoman Blondell Reynolds-Brown, introduced a resolution urging the Pennsylvania State Legislature to pass Governor Wolf's proposal to raise the minimum wage to $12 an hour with a pathway to $15 an hour for all workers in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And her resolution is on final passage uh, today. Raising the minimum wage, Mr. President, is not a new idea. And while I love for Pennsylvania to be a leader on this issue, we are actually well behind others. Currently, there are 31 states and 41 cities in the United States that have minimum wage levels higher than the federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour. Furthermore, and this is very important to note, private local employers like Jefferson have recently raised their minimum wage to $15 an hour without any legislative incentive to do so. Jefferson did that on its own, and they are to be commended. Philadelphians have a right to counteract the narrative that raising the minimum wage is a job killer. This ballot question will allow Philadelphians to say, if they so choose, that raising the minimum wage is not a job killer. In reality, it's an inequality killer. It's a poverty reducer, it's a people dignifier, and it's a work-life balancer. And most importantly, it gives Philadelphians the right to make sure their voices are heard. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, colleagues, for your patience. Thank you, Councilwoman, and that shall be referred to the appropriate committee.